Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Today, we're gonna look at Hugh from Magic from Holland. And if you wanna see the trick, see what it looks like, uh, here's a short preview. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, thanks for being here. I hope you like magic reviews, because if you do, that's what I do, that's what I do. I review magic tricks, and uh, it's always the latest and the greatest. That's what you can find right here, the latest and the greatest. That's what happens. I get the tricks, they come to me, I open the box, I look inside, and I tell you exactly what you get for your money. You're always gonna get honest, and factual reviews here every single time so that you spend your money wisely. So make sure you hit like and subscribe and notify and all those doohickeys things so that you're notified when your favorite magic product gets reviewed. Hugh, Hugh from Magic from Holland, what is this? Uh, kind of like what you saw in the trailer. You have three prediction envelopes and then you have a deck of cards. Uh, the deck does come in blue and red, so you can buy it in whatever deck color you prefer. And then you can do this with three spectators or you can do it with just one. And they basically have three cards selected. Each card is shown face up atop their respective envelopes. The prediction card is pulled out of each respective envelope. I don't know why I used air quotes right there. And uh, the faces don't match, right? The faces don't match. And it's kind of one of those magician gets it wrong plots, right? Very familiar trope. We've seen it. But the kicker is you turn them over and the backs match and each pairing is a different color. And it's a different color from the deck that you began with. Nobody saw it coming. Let's talk about this review. And in my reviews, I always ask the same exact questions. This keeps me from rambling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it keeps me, keeps me on track. It <laughs> keeps me on track, keeps me from rambling. Uh, what do you get? You spend your money, it comes to you in the mail. What are you gonna get? Uh, you get the deck, right? You get the deck. It's a fully custom deck. Uh, you will have to put it together or in order, I guess you could say. It comes out of order. You're gonna put it in order. And like I said, you can buy it in red or blue back or red or blue tuck case, really, and matching backs. Uh, you're gonna get the envelopes, but the envelopes aren't gimmicked. You in the video, Ron Timmer even talks about how you could do it without the envelopes. You don't need the envelopes. And they don't say one, two, three on them. So you could write anything on the envelopes in your respective language. And you're gonna get the download code of the video. The video is roughly 17 minutes long. All right, so is it what I thought? Did the trick fool me? Uh, no, it didn't fool me. Um, I think watching the force in the trailer kind of alerted me to what kind of uh, trick this would be. And I actually have a trick that works, I'm not gonna say the same, but it works similar. So John Bannon put out a trick a long time ago, a gimmicked trick called Detour de Force. And it was the same plot, it's the same plot where um, two people, instead of three, select a card and it doesn't match the prediction, 
but it does when you turn the cards over. So I kind of already had that in my history. And so just watching the trailer and knowing that trick already kind of put the clues together for me. How are the angles? Um, I will say that this is a deck that you've probably held before. It is a classic trick deck and uh, you probably have one or two or three in your magic box. Can it be inspected? Um, you really can't have it inspected before or after. I will say you could fan the entire deck on the table uh, before the trick starts and the spectator could see that every single card is different. There's no duplicates. Um, and you could casually dribble the cards in your hands and the spectator would see every single back color the same. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, basically, you have Ron Timmer from Magic from Holland. He's seated at a table with a white background. There's nothing distracting. Uh, it's only 17 minutes, so you're basically just getting what you need. As far as what he's gonna teach you, he's gonna go over what you get in the box. He's gonna talk about setup. And then, of course, he's gonna cover how to do the trick. He's gonna teach um, a method uh, for a couple of different types of forces. So if you're not familiar with or you're not comfortable with a specific force, he'll give you a different type of force and then he's gonna give you some advice at the end. Is the trick well made? Uh, it's all United States Playing Card Company cards, right? It's all bicycle cards. So bicycle makes the best cards in the universe. So yeah, it's well made. How much practice does this require? What's the skill level on this? Uh, like I said earlier, a lot of you have held this deck before already. So you're familiar with the forcing aspect. And like I said also earlier, Ron Timmer is going to give you more than one type of force, just in case you're more comfortable with one over the other. So the deck basically does all the work. It's practically self-working. And then the other nice thing that I don't even know if he covers this in the video, but it's, it's kind of true. Uh, once you label the envelopes, one, two, three, the numbers on the envelopes kind of alert you to which color is in which envelope. So, the envelopes, even though the envelopes aren't gimmicked and the cards in the envelopes are not gimmicked in any way, even though they're not, the numbers on the envelopes kind of help you remember the plot as you go. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, it's a one-time setup when you get it. Um, it's really easy to put the deck together. And then reset is just, you know, the cards that the spectator selected. You just put those back in the deck where they go and you're done. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Hugh takes several classic themes and seamlessly weaves them together. This is a fun and entertaining piece of magic that many people will want to perform. All right, so negatives, what are the negatives? You know, around here, I always give you the good and the bad. I'm gonna show you both sides so that you have all the information. I want you to know what's good about this and what's bad about this so that you can make up your own mind. Uh, really, in this whole thing, and like I said, you know, the. The video is not that long and the product's well made. I like this trick. I'm gonna keep this trick. I'm gonna do this trick. I'm gonna perform this trick. I like it a lot. Um, I really do. So there wasn't a lot I could really say or find that was negative about this. The thing that I didn't appreciate, let's put it that way. The thing that I didn't appreciate was, and to be fair, Ron even apologizes in advance before it even happens. He, he like knows it's wrong, I guess, but um, he uses a bad word. He, uses a bad, he, he says a bad word in the video. And I, I just don't like that because I, I realize that people of all ages, especially younger people um, might purchase this, especially because it's self-working. You might, you might find more novice magicians or more younger magicians purchasing this. So I always get rubbed the wrong way when people use swear words. So that was just, he, well, he only does it one time. It's just one time and it's over with and he apologizes for it, but I just didn't like that part. Is it worth your money? It is $30. 30 bucks, you're getting a custom bicycle deck, um, multicolored backs, um, you know, it's gaff deck through and through, 100% gaff deck, plus you're getting the video. Like I said, I like the trick. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So yeah, I would say it's definitely worth your money. All right, so who would like this? Who's, who's the target audience for this trick? Um, like I said, people that already like self-working magic, right? Especially people that enjoy self-working magic that doesn't look like self-working magic on the surface. Like we know it is, but the spectator or maybe even some lay magicians might not know. And so I think this definitely has a lot of 
fooling aspect to it and a lot of magical appearance to it without the skill set that would normally be involved to pull off a trick like this. So I think it has a lot of potential and I think a lot of people are gonna like this. All right, so that's everything I can say about Hugh from Magic from Holland. Of course, I wanna thank Magic from Holland and Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.